I gotta get me one of those. Every super fan dreams of having that ultimate collectible. Well, we're about to make those dreams come true. This is Super Fan Builds. I'm Tim Baker. I've been a master builder and prop maker in film and television for 25 years. If you can dream it, we can build it. There's nothing my crew and I can't make at Tim Baker Creations. Tim, this week we're working with a property that I'm sure has a lot of super fans, but we've chosen one very lucky super fan, and we're talking Batman. Who doesn't love Batman? Let's see what makes him the ultimate Batman super fan. Hi, my name is Marissa Earl. My husband is Josh. He's been a big fan of Batman ever since I've known him. As you go down to his office, there's Batman everywhere. The hallways have Batman. The door to his office has a Batman symbol on it. Batman all over the shelves. So he's definitely kind of a super fan. We have a son named Colin, and I can already see the Batman nerdiness rubbing off on him. When he was 18 months old, some of his first words were just singing the Batman song. Na, 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 Batman. I would love for you guys to make something Dark Knight related that both Josh and Colin could play with together. Thanks guys, fingers crossed. What's that? Another tumbler? Oh, you wouldn't be interested in that. For our Batman super fan, we're building a Batmobile tumbler stroller from Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight. The tumbler is a very complicated shape. We've got all these facets. We're gonna be making a metal frame that's gonna support the whole thing. We'll have the handles back here so the parents can push the kid. The body of the tumbler is covered with armored plates at various angles. To recreate this for our stroller, we're first going to make a 3D model of the tumbler on our computer. Each one of these panels can be computer cut out of a sheet of foamed PVC. We'll leave the top open, we'll just cut the whole top off and that'll be where the kid's head will pop out. Here we have the layouts for a paper model, so we're printing these out and getting them put together to make sure that it will be accurate. I had our welders create our tumbler frame from one and a half inch steel square tubing. We got the frame back from the welders. It looks great. They used one and a half inch steel tubing on everything, so it's going to be really strong. Five eighths inch threads on the end so we can get the tires on here. For the Batmobile stroller, we've decided to go with a child's car seat. So I found one that looks kind of Batman-ish, all black and has lots of straps. I think if you're going to be riding a Batman stroller, you should have like a five-point strap in. You know, so it's kind of NASCAR looking. Now with the 3D information, we've made this paper model perfectly scaled to fit over our metal frame that we've had welded. We've drawn all the designs on the computer and we'll transfer them all over to the CNC router. This will cut all those shapes out and then we can assemble them and glue them together and we'll have the completed form. So we're pretty excited about this. We've got all of our plates cut out. They're ready to go. We've got the fold lines routed in with a V bit so we can bend them. As soon as we get them all glued together, we'll turn all of this into one of those. So after we get the pieces routed out, uh, we actually take the heat gun and slightly melt it in the creases and fold it to where we've got the panels just like we did it here in the paper model. We've been assembling the sections for the Batmobile stroller. That's going to be where the kid's gonna come out right here. This is the section that'll have the headlights on it. Now that we've kind of got something going, it'll start to take shape. Well, the crew's been finishing up all the insides here. We've got some epoxy pushed in all the corners. Everything's reinforced and glued together, and it's ready to move over and attach down to the frame. So we lay down the putty, and now we're gonna be sanding, refining the edges. Um, it also makes the paint go down a lot better when we sand. So it's just nice flat black all the way around. And there's no sharp edges for the baby to you know, hurt themselves on. We've got the tumbler sanded and primed and painted, so now we have to put on all the little detail elements. 
The little shock absorbers and little hydraulic units, the headlights. We have some little mirrors we cut, shiny plexi. Spoilers we're gonna attach. This is the turbine that we made. Got a little patina going on, so it looks like there's smoke and stuff that's been coming out of this turbine. They're just a little finishing things that's, that's gonna make it look really, really dead on. The tumbler stroller is almost done. In the morning, it'll be ready for our dark night super fan. Josh, we're here today because your wife Marissa has nominated you as the ultimate Batman super fan. And from looking around your man cave, I can tell that that is probably true. There's so much Batman stuff in here. So when did your love for Batman start? You know, it, it started with comics, went into 66 bats, Batman the Animated Series. Um, and you know, like most recently, we've been able to fall in love with the, the Nolan series. And your son Colin is obviously into it as well, since he has a sweet Batman shirt and his Batman socks on. Marissa, how do you feel about the fact that Josh and Colin bond so much over Batman? Josh has always been into Batman since I've known him, and now being able to see Colin get into it too, it's really exciting for me to see something that they'll be able to share together. So what you don't know is that we got Tim Baker from Tim Baker Creations to make a one-of-a-kind piece that is Dark Knight inspired for you and Colin to share. It is awesome. You guys will definitely be the coolest family on the neighborhood now. You ready to see it? Wanna go see it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. There we go. You ready? All right, let's reveal. Oh Ooh. my God. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go Just look at it. it. Oh my oh. gosh, how cool is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pretty cool. Do you think Batman's in here? I get it. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> is that cool? Yeah. This is really amazing, man. This is so cool. Josh, this is actually Tim Baker, who designed this hey man, whole bit. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. Tim, can you tell a bit how you made this? I designed it on the computer, and then had the pieces CNC routed, and a lot of them we made by hand. It was all put together to be as durable as possible it's on a steel frame. We've got all-wheel tires, uh, mirrored glass. It's meant to last. Josh, how much do you love it? I love it. You it, love it's, it? It's really cool. This is so awesome. All right, another satisfied super fan. If you've got a super fan that you want to nominate, contact us at superfanbuilds at break.com. Wanna go for another ride? Yeah, go! <laughs> Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Have you ever watched the Academy Awards and thought to yourself, oh, that should be me up there, but you didn't know where to start? Today we're gonna show you the most practical way to win an Oscar without relying on money, talent, or famous friends. This is epic how-to. 